guys. So I think we are live. Um, I'm going to check over here on my laptop. I decided to set that up next to me just to make sure that I actually was live in the correct place. I'm um, an admin on so many different groups and pages that sometimes I get really paranoid that I'm going to go live um, in a group that I'm not supposed to be in. So I'm just going to check super quick over here give people time to hop on a little bit. Um, it does look like I am live in the right place, I think. Oh yeah, there, I just got my notification. Groovy. Okay. I'm in the right place, yay. <laughs> awesome, so happy Wednesday, everybody. I lose track of the week. Um, so I believe today is Wednesday, so I hope everybody's having a really good week so far. It's treating you well. Um, and thanks for coming by tonight. Uh, video is going to be pretty quick. I'm not going to keep you here um, for a super long time. I just want to talk a little bit about why choosing safer skincare products and body care products and home care products is important and also give you my three favorite tips for selecting better products. So first of all, I want to make sure that you guys saw all of the articles um, and videos that I shared earlier today. I kind of spent um, all of today kind of leading up to this video, sharing information about um, skin care, beauty care, um, safety laws, um, home care. There was one article that I shared that showed that um, cleaning products, inhaling cleaning products um, can be as dangerous as secondhand smoke. Um, so really, while skin care and body care and makeup and things like that, um, I'm super passionate about that. I'm also really passionate about what we're using in our environments and our home to clean our bathrooms, to clean our kitchens, to clean our floors, um, and even the products that we're using outside and around our house too. All of those things uh, really add up when it comes to the toxic overload in our bodies. Um, so I don't think that any of us could uh, disagree with the fact that we are living in a world of toxic overload. We really live in a very chemical filled world and it's just getting worse and worse with every passing year. Um, I would say that the odds are stacked against us as far as health goes and the odds are really stacked against new generations. So children, the people my age who are having children, and then our children's children, et cetera, man, if things don't change, the odds are really stacked against them. Um, our children's generation, my, my age group, um, and a little bit older, um, that generation of children is the first generation that it is um, being forecasted that they're going to live shorter lives than us, than their parents. That's the first time that's ever happened in history. Um, and so, so much of this has to do with nutrition, but it also has to do with all of these chemicals that we are using in our homes and on our bodies. So that's why you guys are here tonight and why I'm really passionate about this because it's not only affecting my own health, it's affecting the health of future generations. And that's something that I'm really concerned about. So I don't think that we could disagree with the fact that there are quite a few chemicals in our products that are probably not safe. Uh, the extent of their safety is quite often unknown. The beauty industry, and so when I talk about the beauty industry, it really is the overall industry of your makeup, your skincare, your body care, anything that falls into like that health and beauty realm. So that industry is highly, highly unregulated here in the United States. You've seen me talk about, uh, if, you've on, if you're on my newsletter or any of my groups, you've seen me talk about the fact that we have not had any major legislation passed um, for the beauty industry since 1938. So that's a long, long time. And there have been tens of thousands of chemicals that have been developed since 1938. So as a matter of fact, I saw a statistic recently that said that there has been over 85,000 new chemicals created since that year. So um, quite a bit of chemicals that are being used in not only in our skin and body products, but in the environment that we are living in that have never been tested for human safety, um, short term or long term. Or if they have, sometimes those things are still being used even if it is raising concerns. So 
It's highly unregulated. We are definitely in need of some overhaul in that, that realm. I tend to be a person that doesn't like a lot of government oversight. I don't really want the government over regulating things. But in this case, I would say some regulation and some overhaul is definitely needed considering that it's been, you know, 80 years since we've had anything major that's passed in that that niche. So uh, for this, I am all for some governmental change, some legislative change here. So that is one of the reasons that I get really excited talking about this because I'm actually working with a company who is doing that. And together we are all changing the landscape of safe beauty and skincare products and makeup and everything. So it's really, really exciting. So for those of you that are not aware of uh, the types of issues that some of these chemicals can cause, I'm not going to go into a big in-depth uh, video about that because it would take far too long. But the most common problems that we face with the chemicals in our skin um, and body care products and makeup um, are known carcinogens, so, pro so chemicals or other ingredients that are known to cause cancer or suspect that they cause cancer. Uh, we have endocrine system disruptors, which means these are chemicals that go into our body and disrupt all of our hormones, our sex hormones, the endocrine system. I'm guessing that most of you who are watching this video are either dealing with some level of hormonal dysfunction in your body or you know people who are. I can't say that I know a single person today in any of my circles, friends, family, colleagues who are not dealing with some level of hormonal disruption. Sometimes it's a lot worse. Sometimes it's not very bad at all, but there is some level of dysregulation happening there. And I am going to venture to say that our skin and healthcare products are contributing to that. It's not the only contributor, but they are definitely playing a role. Uh, and then the other issue that we face are allergies. So skin allergies, a lot of the chemicals that are used can cause irritation to the skin um, and even damage to the skin and allergic reactions when used short term and long term. So those are really the three main areas of concern. And one of the resources that I'm going to talk about um, here in just a minute actually addresses that on their database. So those are the types of things that we need to be concerned about when we're thinking about our skin, beauty and healthcare products. We often forget that our skin is our largest organ. So we kind of think of all of our organs being inside the body, but our skin is actually an organ and it's the largest one we have because it covers us from head to toe. So what we put on our skin gets sucked right into our body and it has an impact on our body just as if we are consuming things internally or breathing them into our lungs or having them go in through our mouth or our ears or our nose um, or our eyes. So the skin is crucial to helping keep us healthy. And so we need to help support our skin and keep it healthy as well. And one way we can do that is being very cautious about the products that we use on our skin and trying to choose safer products, if at all possible. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have three uh, resources for you guys that I use personally. I think they're fantastic. As far as I have found, there's nothing else online that provides as much information as these resources do. I actually have a fourth bonus one. So you get three tips and then you get a fourth bonus one as well. Uh, so these are resources that I encourage all of you guys to use. Um, you can check them out online. There's one for your smartphone. There's one that you can print off. And these are great ways to help you really start learning about the products that you're currently using in your beauty care routine and also help start finding some new products that are going to be safer and cleaner for your body and for your family and for the environment. So great, um, great resources for you. I don't want people to get overwhelmed when it comes to cleaning up our skin and beauty care routines and our household and everything. This is not. Well, for some people, they might be able to go head first and they just throw everything away and completely start from scratch. 
for the majority of us, I'm guessing that we are on a budget, we can do a little bit at a time. And so when I'm talking about this stuff, I know some people have mentioned to me that they get really overwhelmed with the thought of cleaning up their beauty care routines uh, and their home care routines too, because maybe they just stocked up on a bunch of product or maybe they're on a really limited budget and they can't just go out and buy new stuff all the time and they can't afford to throw away the things that they've already purchased. So I like to tell people to take baby steps. This doesn't have to be done overnight. This is about progress, not perfection. It's about taking those little steps forward, educating yourself so that you can make better decisions in the future and just doing little by little. And so what I like to do is, especially when I was going through this many years ago, so in 2012 is actually when I started transitioning away from a lot of the mainstream cleaning products, beauty products, and those kind of things. What I did, instead of just, you know, throwing everything away and buying everything brand new, I just, as I ran out of a product, say body wash or shampoo or makeup or whatever it was, I would buy a better brand. So I would use up what I, what I had because I couldn't afford to just throw it all away. And I would just buy better stuff when I needed to replace that. And so gradually I was able to clean out the, everything in my house and use better brands, but I did it over you know, a period of time. I don't even remember how long it took me, but I did it over a gradual period of time so that it wasn't as big of an impact on our budget. So please don't feel like you need to like just totally overhaul everything right now and, and spend a fortune finding new safe, safe products. You don't have to do that. If you have the budget to do that, by all means, you are welcome to do that, but don't feel like you have to. I don't want people to feel pressured when it comes to this. It's very, very important, yes, but keeping our sanity and our budgets in check, that's also really important for our overall health, for our mental and emotional well-being. So don't stress out about anything. So I want to dive into the three resources plus the bonus resource that I have um, for you guys to start checking out so that you can start transitioning to some safer products. So I had to make myself some notes. So that's why I might be looking down uh, from time to time just to make sure that I'm covering everything that I wanted to cover. So the first resource, number one, is the EWG uh, Skin Deep Database. So EWG is the Environmental Working Group. And this organi organization does a lot of work in the food and beauty care, home care um, realms. They have a super popular site. There's nothing else online that I have found like the Skin Deep database. And this database is absolutely awesome. I'm so thankful that EWG put this together for us because it is such a great site. So all you have to do is go to ewg.org slash skin deep, I believe is the URL. And I wanna to mention too, I'm gonna to post everything that I talk about in this video in the comments for the video. So all of the URLs and some notes about the tips and stuff that I've been talking about. So don't feel like you have to remember everything um, or even come back and rewatch the video. Check out the comments or the video description and all of the links and everything I talk about are going to be in there. So when you hop over to the Skin Deep database, this database allows you to search by ingredient. So if you have come across an ingredient in your one of your products and you're like, I'm not really sure what this is. Let's see if it's safe or not. You can go and type in that ingredient name and the database is going to pull up information on that ingredient. Whatever information um, the EWG uh, scientists and researchers have available. See, one of the problems that we face is there's not always a ton of information available about these chemicals. You would think that with 85,000 chemicals that could potentially harm human health, we would have safety data on it. But quite honestly, the safety data is lacking in a lot of cases. So they will provide everything possible that they can, but there was going to be some ingredients that maybe they don't have really extensive data on, but they do their very best to provide you as much as they can. So when you look up that ingredient, you're going to get information about what it is and how it's used. And you're typically going to get information about the three um, categories that I mentioned earlier. So that's going to be carcinogen risk, so cancer risk, um, hormonal disruption, endocrine uh, disruption risk, and allergy risk. So those are typically um, the ones that are going to come up on the database 
now that I mentioned that, I think that they may have switched one of those. They may not have the endocrine disrupting risk. It may actually be switched to reproductive um, or developmental risk. Now, I think I noticed that when I was on there recently, but there's going to be three, typically three categories that um, you'll get safety data and health data on. And essentially, everything is going to be ranked into a number. So um, the numbers can range anywhere from, I can't even remember the largest number that I've seen, but from zero to three is what we really want to look at as far as safety goes. Um, you know, some of the products that I have researched for myself have been four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some of the individual ingredients can rank a lot higher. Um, and some of the individual ingredients in a product can rank a lot lower. And so there's kind of an average, they balance it out. And then they give you an overall score for the product if you're looking up a product. Um, if you're looking up an ingredient, you're going to get an overall score for that specific ingredient. So I like to tell people who are using the Skin Deep database to look for products and ingredients that are scoring a three or under. Again, this is about progress, not perfection, but that three or under really is kind of our ideal range that we want to go for when we're using that database. So definitely check that out, poke around in it. Um, you can look up pretty much any product that you have or any ingredient that you stumble across and just check it out, start learning about it. The really cool thing about all of the resources that I am sharing with you guys tonight is that the work has been done for you. So as a consumer, you no longer have to go to Google and Google every single ingredient and read the Wikipedia articles and read PubMed studies and read all of this information about each individual ingredient. It's all in this database for you and these other resources that I'm going to share in just a minute. Everything has been compiled kind of into these central locations. So you as the consumer, it makes it so much easier for you. I remember years ago, Googling individual ingredients and really trying to decipher through a lot of stuff. This was before I learned about the Skin Deep database, which was a huge game changer for me. But I remember spending time on Google trying to read articles and scan through everything and try to figure out, is this ingredient safe or is this product safe? And so the Skin Deep database has really changed that for me. So it's been a total game changer for my life and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a game changer for yours as well. So that's my first resource. The second resource is also put out by the Environmental Working Group and it's called their Healthy Living app. So this is an app that you can download to your smartphone. So the Skin Deep database, I use mainly on my computer. I've used it on my smartphone before, but it's a little difficult to navigate, at least to me. So I prefer to use that when I'm gonna be at my laptop or my desktop computer where I have more space um, on a monitor to look at it. And then I use the Healthy Living app, also by the Environmental Working Group, um, on my, my phone. So when I'm out and about, I still have access to a database if I'm considering a product um, when I'm out at Sprouts or Natural Grocers and I want to just check it and make sure that everything feels good to me. Um, then I can pull up the app on my phone and you can either scan the barcode or they don't have every single product under the sun in the app yet hopefully someday, um, but you can scan the barcode. If the barcode is not in their database, then you can enter the uh, product name and nine times out of 10, it's gonna pull up the product name and it's gonna give you all of the same information that the Skin Deep database does as far as allergy concerns, carcinogen concerns, and that reproductive de developmental concerns and your overall score for that product. So this is a really great way when you're on the go and you're away from your computer to still be assessing whether or not the products that you are going to um, or you're considering purchasing are going to be safe. And the cool thing about the Healthy Living app, it's not just beauty and skincare products in there. It also combines, it essentially combines their Skin Deep database and then they have another database called the Food Score database. So they've essentially combined the food score database and the skin deep database into this app. So you can also check foods when you're out. So um, if you're looking at a specific product on the shelf of your store, you can look that product up in the Healthy Living app and um, get information about that. Or if you have an ingredient on maybe a package of food that you're not really sure about and you wanna check it out, you could look that ingredient up as well and get all of that same type of information. So super great resource for when you're on the go. I have it on my phone and I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's, I don't know, I feel 
it makes me feel really empowered to be able to make those really educated decisions while I'm at the store. Um, in the old days, I would typically buy a product. I would come home and maybe research it. Um, and then sometimes I would return it. So this just allows me to know before I even get into the checkout line, whether or not it's a product that I feel safe using on my body. Now, okay, resource number three. Um, this is an awesome one. And I think you guys have probably heard me talk about B Corps before. But my third tip for selecting um, healthier skincare products and beauty care products and even food products um, are to look for companies that are uh, certified B Corps. So essentially this certification um, is like a higher standard of certification. So it's like USD organic, um, USDA organic to milk or um, the fair trade uh, certification for coffee and cocoa and stuff like that. So this is just a higher level certification that companies have to go through and it essentially shows that they have a really high level of ethics and transparency within the company. So they have a really technical definition. Um, let me see, I have some notes on my laptop and I have their technical definition that I can read off to you guys. Um, for those of you that like the technical stuff, and I also have a list of the B Corp companies um, that you might know for. So, ooh, why is this not working? Bear with me for one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so B Corp is a business, um, or is to business what fair trade certification is to coffee or USDA organic certification is to milk. B Corps are for-profit companies certified by the nonprofit B Lab to meet rigorous standards of social and environmental performance, accountability, and transparency. So that's a big mouthful for essentially saying this company has high ethics and standards for their, their corporation. Um, one of my mentors actually simplified the definition and I like her definition a lot better. Um, she said a B Corp is a company that operates on a triple bottom line. So planet, people, and profits. So they are putting the planet, so the environment, people, their customers, and their employees in the same place or ahead of profits. And you guys have heard me talk about this before. So many companies in today's really crowded marketplace, profits is way up here, and their employees and the safety of their consumers and the environment is way down here. So these B Corps are leveling it up and they're putting the safety of the environment, their employees and their customers in the same place as profits, which is really, really important. And I think there's this idea that exists that profits cannot coexist with these other things, but I truly believe that they can. And we have a whole huge list of companies that are proving that profits and safety and integrity and transparency in a corporate corporate setting can coexist, absolutely can coexist. So some of the, um, some notable B Corp uh, companies that you maybe um, have heard of, so Beauty Counter, which is one of the companies that I have partnered with, and I absolutely love, they're certified B Corp. But some of the other ones are Patagonia, Method Cleaning Products, um, Country Life and Desert Essence, Goddess, God uh, Goddess Gardens, uh, Dr. Bronner's, let's see, Badger Company, Glad Rags, Stash Tea, Stonyfield Farm, um, Vital Farms, who make delicious eggs on their farms, um, Vital Choice, Yogi, Yogi Tea, Nutso Nut Butters, the list goes on and on. So it's not just, B Corps don't just apply to our health and beauty products, but they also apply to our food. And there's actually a gazillion other categories that they can fall into as well. So things that I would have never even considered being necessarily things that we needed to think of from an ethical and transparency standpoint, but their database is really, really large. And there's a lot of really great companies in there. So many that I've never even heard of. So I'm going to post a link to the B Corp site where you can search for your favorite companies uh, to see if they're B Corp certified. Or if you would just want to explore and see what companies are out there that are B Corp certified, that's a great place to start. 
In my opinion, looking for companies that are B Corp certified is a really great way for us to use our dollars as consumers to help vote in the marketplace. And we absolutely can bring about change in the marketplace and in this overall health and beauty and skincare industry when we start voting with our dollars. Because when it comes to business, really the dollar wins. If companies start losing sales, to safer safer companies so for example if one of the mainstream beauty uh, care companies really starts losing a, a pretty big chunk of change to a company like beauty counter who is uh producing really really high performing products that are safe and effective for us to use but safety is always at the top of the the list the top of the game for beauty counter they um they're not going to put products out that are going to be harmful to us or to future generations so if a mainstream company all of a sudden starts losing some sales to companies like beauty counter then that's us voting with our dollars and that is us really forcing the marketplace to change and voicing what we want as a consumer to the companies that are providing the products that we're buying so i am a big, big advocate of using your dollars as a way to cast your vote. And B Corps are a great way to do that. Let's see, so that those were the three. Um, and then I have a bonus one. Um, so the bonus tip for you guys is to print off a copy of the Never List. So the Never List is something that Beauty Counter came up with and it is, um, here's a little mini version of it. So. Um, beauty list is or the never list by beauty counter is made up of 1500 um, ingredients and chemicals that they absolutely refuse to use when they're formulating their products so there's 1500 ingredients and chemicals that they did not deem safe for us to be using and they refuse to use those ingredients in the formulation of their products and so they have their whole huge list, all 1,500 things on their website. I will leave a link to that um, down in the comments or in the video description. But on that same link, when you're on the page, if you look over to the right, there's a like a black button that says, I think, download PDF. They have a downloadable version. So this is a little, um, essentially like a business card version of it. Um, and I actually stick these in all of my uh, my new client orders or sample orders that I send out so that people have this to stick in their wallet. But the link that I'm going to post for you guys is going to have the printable version. So you could just print it out and cut it um, out, stick it in your wallet or your purse so you have it with you. Um, but this has kind of like the consolidated version. So these are a lot like the really, really top offenders that we need to avoid. So if you don't have a smartphone or maybe you left it at home that day and you're at the store and you're like thinking about getting a new product and you're reading the ingredients, but you're you're thinking, oh, I know there's this, pro this ingredient that I really needed to avoid, but I can't remember the name of it. You could pull out your little never list and you could check on here and see if it's listed. If it is, I would stick that product right back on the shelf and move on to a different product. So those are the three, plus, well, three <laughs> and a bonus. Uh, so four total tips for choosing safer skincare products. And so just to recap, the first one is using the EWG Skin Deep database. So that's the one that I like to use when I'm at a computer uh, because I just need, I feel like it's a little bit clunky on my cell phone. Um, if you have a tablet, it's probably going to be easier to use, but I don't like to use it on my cell phone. So I keep that for when I'm at my computer. Um, I, again, we'll put a link to everything that I've talked about in the video description or down in the comments as well. Um, the second one is also by the Environmental Working Group, and that's their Healthy Living app. And so this is an app that you download to your smartphone. You can take it with you on the go. And it's a combination of the Skin Deep database and their food scores database. So you're not only getting access to the database to look up health and beauty products, but you're also going to be able to look up food products and food ingredients as well. Get um, health and safety information on all of those ingredients and all of those products and then get an overall score for how that product ranks as far as health and safety goes. And with the Skin Deep database and the Healthy Living app, we really want to look for products that are scoring a three or less. The third tip that I had was to look for B Corp, certified B Corp companies. And so um, essentially the B Corporations are companies that operate on a triple bottom line. So people, planet and profits. They are putting those three things 
in um, the same place rather than profits being up here and the environment and the safety of their employees and their consumers being way down here. They've lifted that up so that all of it is on the same level playing field. And like I mentioned, I absolutely believe that those can all exist. Safety and profits can exist in this marketplace because there are amazing companies. Some of the B Corps that I read off to you guys, including Beauty Counter, who are doing it, they are earning record profits, but they are doing it in a safe and ethical and very transparent way, which is super important. Um, and then the fourth was the bonus one, and that is the never list. So this is just a little card you can print off, toss in your wallet or toss in your purse. You have it with you when you're on the go in case you forget your smartphone or maybe you don't want to download an app. That's completely understandable. So you would at least have this card with the worst offenders to look for on your skin, beauty and makeup care products. And so the link to this, you'll hop over to the site. You can look at their full database if you want, um, or you can download a really easy PDF and you can just print it out, cut it out, stick it um, in your purse or wallet, and you'll be good to go. So that is everything that I wanted to cover in this video. And I also promised you guys that I was going to be doing a giveaway tonight. So I know 6 p.m. is a little bit weird uh, time for people to jump on. So I am going to do the giveaway. I'm going to give you guys until midnight tonight to submit your answers. And then tomorrow morning, I will choose a winner. Whoever the winner is, I will contact you directly and I'll get your mailing address so I can send everything into the mail for you. So um, in order to enter this giveaway, you need to answer the following question. I would love to know from, from all of you, what skin or beauty or home care product are you most concerned about right now? And um, what is, what is it that you want to switch out? So is it something to do with your makeup? Is it a body care product? Is it a home care product? Which product are you wanting to switch out right away? So leave that down in the comments below. And the giveaway is for one of my favorite beauty counter products. So this is a package of their um, one-step makeup removing wipes. Let me tell you, even if you don't wear makeup, you should still get these wipes because these wipes are awesome. I know it's a really, really simple product, um, and I never thought that I would be so um, goo goo over goo was it goo goo gaga over um, <laughs> over some makeup wipes, but I really, really love these. I love that they don't have artificial fragrance. They actually don't have any added fragrance in them at all. So the older I get, the more sensitive I become to fragrances, and most of the other. Um, wipes on the market have fragrance in them and also can have some pretty unsavory ingredients too. So these are completely safe, um, no added fragrance. They actually were, um, I think they were awarded um, some sort of award if I remember correctly too. They're, they're that awesome. But even if you don't wear makeup, uh, the reason that I love these, I actually use these to, my dog is getting ready to bark. So <laughs> that's why I was snapping my fingers. Um, I actually use these just to, to clean my face at night. If, I, if I'm tired, a lot of times I'm working like right up to when I need to go to bed and I'm too tired to do my normal cleaning routine. So I'll just grab one of these wipes and just wipe down my face really well. It's amazing how much grime our skin can collect during the day. And so even if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I still use these wipes. I actually also use these for freshening up after I've worked out or I've been outside in the yard and I'm sweaty. Um, and I just need to feel a little bit fresher and I can't really hop in the shower at that moment. I've used them to, to use the, I've used them to freshen up after that as well. So you can wipe off your neck or if you need to clean under your arms, you can do that. Um, I've used these wipes for that. So really they're kind of multi-purpose. And the other thing is they are pretty big and the formula on them is pretty concentrated. So I actually find that I can snip these wipes in half and use only half of a wipe. So a package comes with 30 of the full size wipes, but when I snip them in half, I end up with 60. So it's, um, it really, you can save a lot of money um, whenever you do that. So depending on how dirty you are that day, you may only need half of a wipe. But anyways, so this is the prize. I will stick a brand new package of these. It's a $20 value in the mail to you. Um, just answer that question about what product you are most concerned about in your current routine and what you want to switch it out or what product you want to switch out and leave that down in the comment section below. And tomorrow morning, I will draw a winner for this giveaway and I'll contact you if you are the winner um, to get your mailing information. So that is it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for 
watching the video and hanging out with me on a Wednesday evening. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.